Good morning, this is Mayor Valensky with the Driving Market. Just to catch up, you can, um, before we go into detail, you can also see me on Instagram, I've got Twitter, and any other type of media platform that will help you get some market wrap, some market updates, and give you some guidance as to where likely the markets are gonna be going in the short or medium term. So let's just catch up where we're at on the markets from yesterday. So all the major indices were in free fall yesterday. The Dow, the Nasdaq, the S&P, European markets, Asia, all completely collapsed. The Dow had fallen more than 1,200 points. That is the biggest fall since June 2020 in the height of the corona. And it's not corona or COVID-19 that drove the Dow and the US market south. What drove the US market south was the fear of inflation and the corporate earnings that are missing targets. You have to remember all the analysts and all the bankers and the invest investment companies have set certain targets on these on these companies from the beginning of the year. However, the impact of Ukraine, Russia, inflation, higher interest rates, supply chain issues, and lockdowns in China is now taking its effect. So what you've got is you've got companies that are reporting and they're reporting that they do have problems with prices and they've got problems with delivery. Take Target, for example, in the States yesterday. Target is a major component of the S&P 500. A solid company, not high tech, just a regular US retailer. And it came in well below market expectations. Not only below market expectations, its forecast was horrendous. And because its forecast was horrendous, the shares dropped 25%. That's the biggest fall of Target ever in one day. 25% and that was the leader that pulled all the S&P shares and the S&P index down everything followed on from there so target is an indicator of where the other corporate earning companies where the other companies are going so corporate earnings are expected to be at risk due to what I said high inflation and high interest rates and that caused the bulls to run away and hide and the bears came out raging and they pushed the market down. And what's interesting on the Dow, the Dow closed below the important level of 32,000. And the overnight futures are only up 50 points. So we're expecting much further, much greater further falls in the near future. I've been saying this since January, the market trend is down. And you must pay attention to the trend. What do they say in the banks? They say, the trend is your friend. And therefore you've got to look at where the trend is going. The trend overall in financial markets is going south, it's going down. Uh, take also Tesla. Tesla, as I, I gave a support level of 720, it went to 720, bounced from there. Yesterday went up to 780 in the morning, sorry, on Tuesday went up to 780, and last night it was trashed all the way down to 700. Tesla is on the way down to $550. That's the next major support level. Not that I don't like it, be very clear. I do like Tesla and I love Elon Musk, but Tesla is gonna be a victim of the route that's going on in the NASDAQ at the moment. And why is the NASDAQ being routed? Why is it being hammered? Because NASDAQ is a high growth, high risk area. And the minute you've got uncertainty of inflation, interest rates, corporate earnings, growth, where the economy is going, recession, then investors naturally will pull out of the high investment area. And what they'll do, they'll put it into more solid investments, things like gold or things like bonds or things like the dollar. Look at the greenback. The greenback, the US dollar, has just shot up against a basket of currencies and is likely to go higher. One, for safety reasons, and two, because rates in the US are gonna go higher, much higher than the UK and Europe, and therefore there's gonna be a flight to the US dollar based on a better return and based on the fact that it's gonna be a safe haven. Now, what's gonna happen as far as the UK? So the UK economy has got full employment. There are more jobs out there than there are people looking for jobs. The truth is that after Corona, a lot of people just didn't return to work. So the workforce contracted However, the jobs more or less stayed the same. It's not because there's been an expansion in the economy, it's just been because there is low, there's a lower number of people that are willing to work 
are for the same salary or the same conditions that they were pre-corona. Corona has sort of re-educated them to stay at home and look for other better ways of running their life. That's one of the it's, it's one of the um, sacrifices or one of the costs of the COVID-19 plague, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. What else have we got? Look at Bitcoin, cryptos. Bitcoin is down, it was only down slightly yesterday by $1,000. I do expect Bitcoin to fall all the way down to 20,000. I've been calling it down for quite a while now, and it is floating down there. It's not there yet, but it will get to the 20,000 level. That is something for very, very clearly that is likely to happen. So the forecast going forward is more volatility, more trending downwards, and we're going to go into a bear market and potential recession. Have a good day.